Dear viewers, welcome to another episode of Enforce Tech TV, live from Enforce Tech 2022 here in Hall 12 at Messe Nuremberg. Today with me is Rod. Rod, thank you for your time. Thank you, Moritz. Thanks for having us. You are here in the capacity of an ambassador for Karimo SF. But before we go into that, please let me ask you, how does it feel to be back at Enforce Tech? It feels great. After three years of downtime, um, it's great to see the community back together providing solutions for the brave men and women that serve us every day. So let's dive right into it. What does Karimo SF actually provide? Karimo SF is one of the leading uh, world suppliers of load carriage systems for uh, military police, um, border security, you name it. Um, there's a pack somewhere in the world that has their name on it. So load carry system it means from the smallest Kydex pouch or whatsoever to carry rifle magazines to biggest loadouts, which is actually a nice transfer to what we are looking here at today. Please, what is it that you provided us with today? Um, well, we have a K9 camera system, and for that, um, we needed that load carriage system. So Carry More SF designed a pack for us that works specifically to. To, to work in several environments that our operators needed. Okay. So today they've invited uh, to be at Enforce TAC with them to highlight uh, a product that's uh, very new. It's been about three years in development. And this is the HEK K9 camera system, a multi-platform camera system. What is it that makes this product so special and gives you the edge over your competitors? Um, in the fact that it has three camera systems inside, um, it has an infrared camera, a widescreen day camera, and a thermal imaging camera, all in one unit, which can be controlled from uh, the device that you see on my chest. So, so it appears to me that this is all, that you guys bring actually a lot more to the table that we are K9 units used to see run around with. Absolutely, um, our company is made up of uh, it's veteran based and owned. Um, we have uh, ex-Special Forces members bringing in uh, fresh intel as to what is required. Um, the two-way audio system that features on the camera is a new implementation. There's a lot more canines now being controlled by voice. Um, okay. So we tried to complete something that was a complete system to uh, future-proof canine training. So would you mind giving us a rundown on how your system actually, how does the interaction between the dog handler and the K9 work? Well, we have a, um, a Pelter system here that can plug directly into the unit, which uh, is uh, mounted obviously on a plate carrier on the operator, which can be folded up and down. And here you see straight away, um, it's very easy to train to use the system. Can you hold it up a little bit to, for the camera to catch it up? So there you see the, uh, the thermal imaging. Yes, sir. Working away there. And we wanted to make uh, function and use very easy for the operator. So um, I don't call it a Tonka toy, but um, <laughs> you know, simple is good in, in the heat of the moment. Yes, sir. So switching from widescreen day camera, thermal imaging, and then coming over here, you're going straight into IR at the touch of a button. So three cameras giving you three unique capabilities there. Earlier, when we talked before shooting this video, you also mentioned that this system is also adaptable, or rather said, not only to use specifically for a, with a K9 unit, but can also be transferred to work, for example, without a K9 unit, where other requirements are to be met, for example, in recon. How does that work? How does the, this pole come into play? Again, we wanted to add something more to the party than just having a static camera on the back. So part of our, uh, our mount system is that it's very quickly removed uh, and it can be mounted onto a carbon fiber bolt pole system for uh, other search and surveillance applications, such as searching under lorries, looking into roofs, uh, roof lofts, searching staircases up and down before the firearms team go in. Exactly. Uh, it gives more capability to the operator. So basically this is a dual use system. So you are not only bound to use it with the K9 system, but with purchasing the system or getting it into the unit, you also provide the unit to do recon, to transfer the system, not only to be in use with the K9 unit, but also on a pole for different requirements. Absolutely. Uh, more applications, more justification to purchase the product. So if the firearms team guys have a use, the K9 team have a use, um, and we're also looking at other options. 
So the HECA is part of a family of products that we see coming forth. Um, also, we're working on a vehicle mount and uh, also static tripod for like force protection. So uh, more capability. More capabilities. So, Rod, thank you very much for your time. If you guys are interested now in Carimo SF or in Apex Vanguard, feel free to look them up online. Also, if you happen to like this video, we would be happy if you were to give us a like, drop a comment in the comment section below, or even subscribe to this channel. Rod, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having us, mate. Cheers.